Hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo. And this time, hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo Dinosaur Island. The new DLC has been released and it's basically a full-blown expansion. I'm super excited to jump into it. There are new quests, there are 50 new animal, or in this case, dinosaur species. There are seven new enclosures. There's over 100 new shops and decorations. It's big. It's big. And we jump it in right now. It's kind of cool because they actually allow you to use your old save game. And what happens is, you just pick the dinosaur island from the map. Land for sale. Dinosaur island. The next step in CRISPR research. Reviving the dinosaurs. It costs zero. Because, I mean, obviously you paid for the DLC or the expansion or whatever. And, yeah. Well, you just do this and you get started. Dinosaur island. You own this plot of land. The only thing left to do is get started on building your zoo. It uses the default game settings with the extra dinosaur island DLC. I think that means that you can actually put all the regular animals and stuff on there as well. I don't know. I don't know. But if I'm being real with you, I only want dinosaurs. It's going to be a full-blown dinosaur park. I don't want no more bunnies, dude. I'm not going to mess around with the bunnies. I've had enough bunnies. I've had enough of the ducks, the geese, the donkeys. Oh, God, dude. Get out. Dinosaurs. But I'm excited to find out which dinosaur is going to be the new chicken, which one's going to be the new bunny, which one's going to be the one that explodes in population if you don't watch it. Let's get started. Hmm. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Finally, it's within our grasp, the ability to revive the dinosaurs and show them to the world. There's no time to waste. Let's build a dinosaur zoo. This is basically John Hammond. <laughs> if you guys don't know who John Hammond is, please go watch the first Jurassic Park movie. It's it's peak. It's peak dinosaur action. So who are we going to pick? I don't really think I care too much. We'll pick this guy. The name of your zoo. Mm, Lermstone. That actually sounds pretty prehistoric. I like it. Let's do it. Oh, amazing. Check it out. Oh, is that him walking in there with me? It's Jennifer Dudna. She's back. Yes. 1st of January, year one. An amazing discovery. Having developed the most advanced DNA editing technology in the world, the scientists at the zoo have discovered that they can revive a species long thought extinct. It's funny how they decided to go for this Dinosaur Island DLC because it just makes so much sense with the whole CRISPR and DNA splicing thing. It makes sense that they'd take it too far, bring back the dinosaurs, and then bring the world to the brink of total collapse because that's, you know, that's the idea. It's, it's the human condition. What can you do? You know? <laughs> you know? DNA scrape from well-preserved remains has given rise to the first ever living dinosaurs. As a result, the zoo responsible for the discovery has purchased an isolated island which has been designated a safe zone to bring back the dinosaurs. People will be able to travel to the island from all over the world and travel through time thanks to the wonders of CRISPR and this scientific breakthrough. <laughs> the no longer extinct dinosaur is soon available for viewing at the local zoo. Get your tickets today. Thanks, Jennifer. New task. Oh, his name's Dr. Church. Okay, welcome to the zoo. I'm Dr. George Church. And thanks to the funding I've received in September, I was able to work with the zoo on this amazing research. The only dinosaur we have mapped so far is the Microraptor. Oh no. Does that translate to bunny? Please build a CRISPR splicer to start the cloning process. I think I just saw one at the back there. Oh, <laughs> cute man. Look at all the dinosaurs. That is so sick. This is the one I want. Is that the Brontosaurus? Where's the Rex? Oh, I can't wait, dude. I am so excited. Wait, maybe this is it. There's two different ones here. Oh my god. I'm about to get a re-education in dinosaurs and I love it, dude. Microraptor, let's go. Time needed, one hour. Do it. Wait, are there people arriving? Dude, I have nothing to show you yet, please. Don't. There's actually someone here. Who are these people? Visitors. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Okay, I mean, listen, if I was a visitor at, at, a, at a dinosaur park and they had even one Microraptor, yeah, I'd be happy. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this. Dude, I can't remember how to pause the game in this. How do you, how do you pause the game? <laughs> I don't, 
Oh, okay, it's four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to actually make the floor tiles. Aztec flooring is what they're using over here. I like that they give you a bunch right from the start. So like when we played the original, uh, I, I feel like I feel like they didn't give you a whole lot to to be creative with at the start, and it was a little punishing, you know. It ended up being a little difficult to make something interesting, something cool, something unique right from the get go. Okay, let's unpause quickly, and then let's just see quickly what we can what we can do with the micro raptor here. I'm leaving. There isn't anything else to do. Listen. Collect. Deliver it. Don't go! Please! Jeez. Jennifer Dudna really has nothing better to do. She's sitting here watching our park like a hawk. The world was in shock, as for the first time in millions of years, a living dinosaur could be seen walking the earth. However, those responsible say that this is just the beginning. They are funding archaeological expeditions across the globe in search of different dinosaur DNA. While there are many bones available in museums and private collections, the DNA extraction method only works on freshly recovered bones. That is so cool. Just keep digging. I love how they're explaining it. Okay. How to get more dinosaurs. Archaeologists are trying to find potential dig sites all the time. Over time, more dinosaur expeditions will become available. The daily dig cost represents how hard it is to find a dinosaur. So, the cheaper it is, the less likely you are to find suitable fossils and harvestable DNA. So that's on the map, and I'm, I'm, I'm like assuming, based on like how they're handling this, that they they kind of expect you to know how to play the base game. I haven't played the base game in a long time. I haven't. We are digging for dinosaur bones. I have everything covered. Just get me a team of paleontologists and we'll get you what you need. So, weekly cost. They're uncovering this beautiful dinosaur right here. So we're going to give them plus 50. Uh, we'll give them... Let's give them two, right? That's 100 a week. A week... Is a lot of time in this game right oh my god <laughs> i love it dude check it out you, you actually see it dynamically changing over here oh my god they went all out on this i, I hate to say it and i'm but i'm going to because it's a dinosaur game they spared no expense you should play this dlc <laughs> i'm sorry i had to that's so good all right let's keep going here it comes. This is it. It's the big reveal. It's our first dinosaur. Let's see how majestic it is. I need to start another one immediately so I can keep these people happy. Cute. Cute. This person will have a new task after seven days have passed. Okay. Joan Whiffen. It's time to expand your zoo. Build more enclosures so you can get more dinosaurs. Okay, okay, okay. So they, they're giving you a tutorial. It's just a slightly more basic tutorial. Like, it's not going to cover that much more. We're going to make another one. And this time it takes a full day to make another one. So, that's cool. I have seen everything. No, <laughs> don't leave. Okay, so what I think we're going to do immediately is we're going to start by, by checking what the extra land costs. So 300 for more land. Boom. Let's do it. And like, and like, the way we did it last time was we had our farms in the way. Let's pause quickly. We had our farms in the way, all the way in a straight line up at the top. I might do a similar thing, and I might just sort of move it later. But what I want to do is, I want to, right from the start, get one thing right. And that's giving enough space to the dinosaurs in the enclosures. Because it's such a big deal. It is such a big deal. Let me tell you, personal experience has told me that... If you don't leave enough space for your enclosures, you're going to suffer somewhere down the line. So we're going to do it. Now, what is this going to cost? 1,000. It's probably not necessary yet, because uh, we can just take this one and we can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, it's already annoying. I hate <laughs> Oh my god, I hate it. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to go, we're going to move it first, right? So, we're going to go, edit, move, no, move enclosure, the whole thing. Edit, move. Okay. Then we're going to make it bigger. And I want to say, we'll do something like this for now. 
But at the same time, like, I want to leave a bit of space here for, like, the, the subways, the benches, the cola vendors, the, like, that, that, that stuff, you know, that stuff. I, I don't think I'm going to have a perfect park layout. I never have a perfect park layout, and it's really hard to know what you want to do right from the start, even if you're a veteran. And I feel like after 60 hours in this game, I should actually be considered a veteran, uh, but uh, I'm probably not anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the right foot. Like, let's get the pathway going here. And let's, because this is the middle, this is the start, let's make, like, what I would call a little plaza here, okay? And and we're going to do it right. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll go up. And we're going we're gonna, to, from here, we're going to split to the two size path because it makes more sense. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to make a little plaza, right? And I want to make it, like, a nice square, basically. I'll have to move this guy as well. It doesn't really matter where that is, right? These guys can go anywhere. I I have to keep in mind, obviously, that there's there's nothing in this enclosure right now. There's not even any water for the dinosaur. Uh, so we're going to want to do something about that. But let's go for... Wh what are we looking at here? It's one, two, three... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. That seems like a nice entrance, right? That seems quite nice. And then I start the enclosure here. Boom. Start the other enclosure there. Boom. Space here, space there. Uh, more space here, more space there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be too, like, uh, specific and, like... I want to say particular about how I'm doing things. I just want it to be sort of nice, you know, just a little bit nice. Uh, and we're going to start by, I think, putting the basics down here. Because, because again, like, you know, just because. Why not? I don't, I don't need too much. It's just I want some things here, like some decorations. Eggshells, sure, 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 sure. I mean, I could put like the. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of just put a few things down here, not a lot, and I'm just gonna sort of make it a little bit nice. And oh, I'm gonna enjoy this so, so much. I'm gonna enjoy this so much. Just the fact that we have so much new stuff to work with here, it is gonna be so fun. And we have all the old stuff too. That is sick. Yeah. Cool. I'm just making a nice little display, you know? And and keep in mind, we need the... What is the heat lamp? Is that just the way it looks, or...? We need the... the not the basics, but we need the, the, the goodies, you know? We need the... We need the lights. Uh, this actually looks better on the corner. I'll put the light... I'll put the light there fine I've already forgotten everything this game is about okay there we go that's a nice entryway we're gonna leave it like that for now let's let's work on this add objects let's put some water in for this little dude shame ah look at this they got some pathing going now that's nice water over here one water is probably enough for this tiny little enclosure and, and I'm going to immediately, right from the get-go, start doing uh, some water decoration in the in the pens. Because, you know, it's it's fun. It looks nice. And it, it, it actually just makes everything else so much better as well. you got to keep in mind, we're going to be working from the start here. Like, we're going to be... Um, we're going to be basically starting fresh with, with most of this stuff. So, there's a good chance... Most of the cool stuff is going to be locked at the start. And that's fine. One more decoration. Hold on. The new ones actually just look so much nicer. I know a lot of you guys might not like... You might not know. Because you might be watching this for the first time. But take it from me, someone who played a lot of Let's Build a Zoo... These new decorations that they've added just seem to fit really nice. But maybe it's that they that they were made for this tile set. That's probably what it is, right? The water also adds enrichment, so you don't really need much more than that. 
Okay, here we go. That's that's basically all you need for now. Uh, I'm going to move this guy over here uh, for now because we'll probably make another pen on this side soon, but uh, it looks all right there. Then we're going to start building the, the pathways out to the side. And I, I generally try to make the pathways too wide. I don't know if that's good practice or not, but, you know, it has worked for me thus far, so we're going to stick with it. Uh, I think that it gives you a little bit more flexibility. Did I make them too wide or did I make them one? No, I made them two, I'm pretty sure. It gives you a little bit more flexibility in the long run. Uh, so we're going to do that and let's just resume the game and see what happens. Please, guys, don't leave. Guys, don't, don't. <laughs> I need to, do I have a research center yet? I do not. Can I make one yet? Staff entrances. The heck's a staff entrance? That's new. Huh. Farm stuff. Uh, make another enclosure. Okay, so let's make another enclosure. Uh, let's do what they said we must do. I'm going to make it here on this side. Now, I'm not going to go... Like, I'm not going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to make it bigger. Sure, you know what? This might be bad, but I'm doing it anyway. Then again, maybe like having less coverage on the on the area is a bad thing. In other words, like if I go like this and I don't have a passageway down here. Look, they're trying to look from this side. <clears throat> so it's like maybe I should make a little nook here with some some goodies in. Or I should make a little path going around the bottom. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. So we leave that there. We'll go this way. We'll go up. And we'll just be a little creative with this, with this uh, shape. There's no reason not to like, you know, just break the mold a little bit. You know the drill. Head to the world map, give some money to the regional archaeologists, complete the dig for a new dinosaur DNA. Okay. You know the drill. <laughs> oh no. Uh, they want me to put a shop in. Okay. What do we have for shops? Let's have a look. Pause. Build. Shop. Oh, that's so cute. Oh no, dude. That is so cute. The gift stand. I dig it. Okay. Uh, we'll leave a space on the side here. You know, it's going to be kind of difficult to tell what I want to do. I think I'm going to do it like this, okay? I don't want to start with max salaries because I can't really afford it, uh, but we can do that later, you know? So, cola and cookie vendor, uh, we, can, we can toss those down somewhere. Uh, maybe we'll put them up here. I don't know what I'm doing yet. CRISPR, 24 hours, right? So yeah, 19 hours left. We got the second enclosure now. Don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. I should go and check the map again. See what's going on. This is fantastic. God. I'm so happy to be back in Let's Build a Zoo. It's really fun. It's such a chill game. You know? There it is. And this is a good this is a good start. New dinosaur's been dug up. Hey, we're getting all these like avian style dinosaurs. I wonder if this one's gonna clash with the uh, what's the what's the hotkey for the world map? I wonder if it's gonna clash with the current one that we have. Get. Hey, it gave me two. They're called Cairo Stenotes. Cairo Cairo Stenotes? Oh my god, there are gonna be so many names here. Fantastic. Let's do some more digging. Yeah, give them to me. There are going to be so many names here that I don't know. Okay, so they're on their way. There's a quest over here. Finish task. No tasks, no tasks. Fantastic. Perfect. Absolutely fine by me. Let's start with a shelter. Put that here. Let's go for water. I like starting with the water. You know, in this case, I think I'll put the water here in the middle.
Yeah. It, it looks kind of awkward. Yeah. Like, I, I need some plants to put in the water. For real. I need to also research some new uh, toys because that's just... Ah, that's just embarrassing. You know, I'm letting them play with one little ball. Is that really all they have? Is that all I can do? Is that the best I've got? I don't know how I feel about putting dinosaur bones in my uh, pen. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> like, come on, isn't that a little cruel? Putting the bones of, of, of probably dudes they know, you know? Like, like this is... Like, come on, man. Eggshells are cute. Let's put the eggshells here next to, like, like, let's put them over here. Like, let's pretend they're hatched from that egg. That's nice. And then some rocks. Here and there. I don't think the mossy rock really works. There we go. Okay, this looks good. Uh, we're going to have to move the water pump over here. Because we need to put some water down there. So we'll put the water in this corner over here and that'll be fine. Add objects. Water. I want, I want to just, once again, like, I, I sort of pointed this out earlier, but I want to just say to you guys, I'm no professional, okay? I play this game for fun. There's no min-maxing on this uh, series. I'm just, I'm just having fun, okay? That's it, that's it. I'm just here to enjoy the game, and, and that's, that's about as far as it's gonna go, okay? Let's do it. I, I need to, I need to put down all the basics that we need here. So, I forgot to do bins, I forgot to do bathrooms, I forgot to do... I don't really need shelters and subways yet, but, uh, let's see. Let's start on this. Like, let's start being good about this stuff right from the beginning. I'm sure we're gonna have to hire some people soon, right? Most likely. Restroom. Mmm... Like these, you can't really be sort of picky about where you're going to put them. You just got to plonk them down and let that be that. I think that up here we're going to do restrooms. And actually, I think I'll do a tiki restroom. It probably looks nicer. We'll do restrooms and, and shelters. I uh, don't really know if I need a shelter. So I don't know how the shelters work. Like I, I, until this point, like till this day, I still don't really understand the shelters. A bone bench. Oh, it only has one spot on it? Oh, that's not something I'm willing to do. I'm sorry. That's not good enough. Build a research hub to start researching. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. Okay, anyway, so we've got the we've got the pins down. Uh, we need to put the lights down. How are we gonna do the lights? I really like the floor lights, but these ones are like, honestly, a bit more thematic. This guy needs to move. Put him over here. Okay. Lights are in. That's probably enough on that one. I might need more on this one, so let's put these guys here. Oh, did I just move that there? I want to build a copy. I don't want to move it. There you go. That should be enough on that one too. Then, let's have a look. So, facilities. Research hub. Here we go. <sighs> it's fine for now. And then storeroom. Let's check it out. Animal enrichment, water plants, glass enclosure. Oh, what? That sounds cool, whatever that is. Sounds dangerous, but sounds cool. Oh, that is sick. Look how it looks. So I'm assuming the cage is just like a worse version of the glass, right? Huh. 
The cage enclosure will be able to minimally satisfy all animals. Oh no, dude. Chipated. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what's happening now is that I went and built this one and unfortunately they just told me now that the cage is basically the concrete one from from the original the the glass one is basically the the, the slightly better version of, of all of that ah oh, i should have i should have you know i should have known is what i'm actually saying uh it's fine it's fine so i'm gonna do the animal diets in a moment when they started well i mean i guess i can do the one that's already there right now uh let's see It's 30, 30, 30, right? Very overfed? You don't say. I'm still busy, man. Is this, is this 100%? Like, are we covering? Yeah, we are covering everything. <sighs> okay, staff. Let's hire some staff. Park staff. Animal keeper, one. That's cool. Let's get one more. Let's get ourselves a janitor. Pet or toy. Sometimes uh, someone's lost their dog. We can return it to the owner or add it to a pen as a plaything for one of the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh no! This is sure to reduce the stress and boredom for the lucky dinosaurs for quite a while. And probably stop them from going hungry for a while too. Holy crap. Spend $100 to hold an advertising campaign to find the owner. Wow, that's fantastic. What an amazing choice. Okay, janitor. Let's get a janitor. I'll do social media. And then what else? Researcher. Can we get another one? No, we don't have space. Bio waste worker and mascot. What else we got? Breeder. Vet. Geneticist. Storman. Undertaker. Abattoir worker, farmer, crop picker. Oh my god, there are so many. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is a brand new game. I'm so excited. Okay. These guys need a new pin, but I think maybe I'll give these guys a new pin first. I can just build a new one over here. I'm leaving. There isn't anything else to do. Come look at the dinosaurs. There are dinosaurs. Come on, man. Humble beginnings and all that. Oh, I can actually already get subways. Cool, cool, cool. I'm thinking of putting one right here. You know? Can I move any of these? Oh, I can. Oh, interesting. So, so, best possible way to do this, surely, is by, is by going... this way right and putting it right here the subway how much does it cost 2000 we don't need the subway yet but like I'll put the subway right there can, can people walk there I just want to make sure oh no no okay okay so it needs to be one higher basically this must not be here this is where it goes there you go okay can we hire some people? Applicants. View. Yes, close the position. Cool. Okay, one of each is good. This is a fine start. We have three points to spend in the research hub. Let's do it. Now, like, my first steps here should probably be to get some more variety. I'm going to be aiming for the enclosures, so... Oh, oh, that's not enclosure. That's enclosure stuff. The enclosures themselves are... Well, I guess these big ones are the ones I should go for. That's an enclosure. That's an enclosure. Is this an enclosure? Let's get the tropical juice stand next. And I've got trees. I don't think I need the trees. It was an accident. <laughs> but it's whatever. So, if I make a little bit more space on this side, I can buy this for a thousand. Make a little bit more space here. Uh, or I can go this way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, then I can I can move perhaps. Let's take this side. I can perhaps move this. 
I'm really just going to go sort of uh, random on everything. Like, I, I, I have no rhyme or reason here. Uh, it's just going to be what it's going to be, you know? We're going we're gonna to sort of roll with it. And that's... I, I honestly think that's a good way of going about this game. Don't be too... Uh, don't be too perfectionistic. Just have fun. I'm gonna make a new enclosure now, cause like I, I really I, I made a mistake with the with the caged one. So this section here, I'm probably gonna put shops and stuff, shops and stuff. Like I, I've come to realize that around the entrance of your of your zoo, you should always have shops and stuff. And then and then you put subways, and then people can sort of go out from there, and they can sort of have access to everything. Uh, it's nice to get them like straight to the animals like immediately, but like it doesn't make sense. Later in the game, you'll notice it doesn't make sense. Uh, this is probably going to be a good spot for the pen. So we'll go till about there. Let's let's go big on this one, and then I don't know if I want to do like a big. We can do this like this. That is so nice. That is really nice. Wow. So I wonder if this is going to look good. I don't know. It sort of starts looking a little worse with the with the tiled pathway, the Aztec floor that I've got here and all that stuff. Like it, it has a bit of a contrast now. What is this little V picture here? Huh. I actually want grass everywhere. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to put the grass down. Uh, so... It's, it's more of a decoration than anything else. But the problem is it makes it kind of hard. Like, I don't... Hmm. Like, I want to put it down. But it, it looks ugly, you know? Strange. I, I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is... This is... This is good. So, if I, if I go this way now, then what I can do is I can go all the way around here. Huh? I know this makes no sense, but it's it's fun. It's cool. Then I'm gonna put a, another enclosure this way and up. Like I'm gonna use it into. It's gonna go into the next area. You know, like it's it's not great use of the space, but it's gonna look nice when we finished with it. And we're gonna have little sections in between. Or maybe I'll make the shops and then I'll put the next enclosure here. You're gonna have little sections of shops. And, and right from the get go, I think I need to do that. Uh, I need to have those little sections of shops. It's gonna take me a little while to get into this again. Huh? I'm just saying. Uh, you should always put these kind of close to the entrance, but yeah, screw it. Definitely some water. I wonder if I can move those dinos here. I really hope I can. Actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. Having two little split ones. That looks nice. You know? Yeah. Why not? Put a rock there. Decorate a little bit. Now, I feel like because I just changed this, these trees are going to look a little... No, they don't even look that out of place. This looks nice. This is kind of sick. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, again, I think it's kind of cruel leaving the, uh, the dino eggs there. But whatever, man. Enrichment, we've got. Decorate, we've got. Water. There you go. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something here. It's, it's enrichment. I'm missing enrichment. <laughs> it's just because it's just, there is no enrichment to put in. Uh, so can this guy... Current enclosure. Cage. Ah, ideal. Glass. Oh, hey guy. Hey. I'd like to put you in here. You and your friend. Which friend? This friend. There we go, dude. There we go. Now we can delete this one. 
And then we need to make a new one for these guys as well. So, edit, destroy. Huge, dude, huge. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm actually gonna cut this wall out, this this path out here, and I'm going to go hard on on the size of this one because I feel like these these early ones, they're gonna be a they're gonna be a sort of a big deal, you know. They're gonna be a big deal. So we're gonna do this. We're going to. This is the entrance, so we'll sort of, we'll go till about here, right? Then you got some like, well, I mean, we, what we could do is we can make it the same size as that one. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. That's cool. Yeah, this is nice. That's, I mean, I was just saying you don't need to go symmetrical with any of this, uh, but it, it, it makes sense. In this case, it makes sense. Now I'm going to do some like really funky nonsense here. Let's see what their ideal is. I'm, I'm guessing it's, it's what I said. Yeah, glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a tiny little one over here, right? Like this. Okay. Then we're going to move these guys there. This is like a, a lesson for all of you, right? Just, 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 just saying. Just saying. Uh, you should uh, pay attention because don't make the same mistake as me. Get the glass enclosure immediately. Then we're gonna take this one. We're gonna edit. We're gonna move. We're gonna put it over here, and then we're gonna change the shape. And there she is. Maximum size. There's some like bugs, uh, artifacting over here happening. It's fine. It seems like it only happens at night. Now I need to re-put all the stuff in here that needs to be in here, which is fine. Uh, we'll put the water over here and over there. So we can use that pump that we already have. Oh, and I need to move a pump over that side. We'll put some water decorations in. Uh, cuz you know who doesn't like some water decorations let's try not to be too predictable with the water decorations let's do that uh, yes i mean i guess we can put a little a little hop skippity jump rock in there and then let's do some you guys can get two balls i'm feeling generous today and a shelter i'll put the shelter up here decorate I just, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm really all in on the new stuff, so. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be seeing a lot of the new decorations from me, because I just can't get enough of them. I think they look amazing. It's a, they've done a great job with them. They look really cool. They get the eggs. I mean, I'll use some of the older ones too. Definitely. I don't see why not. Yeah. Hey. There's not nothing over here. It looks a little weird. You know what? Yeah, let's put a splash of water there. Why the heck not? And then like one plant, and then I think it looks good. Here we are. Okay, they're gonna be happy. That's much better. So much better. Hey, dig completed. New dinosaurs been dug up and cloned, collected on the world map. Huge, huge. So there's two of these, is it a male and a female? We got a male, we got a female. Heck yes, these are male and female too, so they can just do their thing. Uh, we've got space here now to grow a little bit. I like that. I like that. Uh, I think I might actually do one thing here, and that's expand these guys 
the cage a little bit. So I, I was saying like the important stuff, these big ones are probably important, but at the same time, uh, you can look at like, as an example, the enclosures. I, I think that might be a new enclosure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Grassland enclosure. Okay, we'll save for that quickly. It just needs two points. And that also gives us a new store that we can put down like immediately. So I'll put the store over here. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Uh, let me put that there. I think I'll put them around the middle here. Yeah. Can't afford. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Okay, I guess we got to make some money quickly. Let's speed the game up. I do not want to have to take loans out. You know, the one thing that annoyed me a little bit about this game early on was how uh, how long it took to pay off the loans. Oh, the water supply. Oh no, thanks guy. Oh man. Right on. And I didn't even put like all the, the basics around here, like the bins and stuff. Oof. Lucky this little guy here just told me all of this stuff. And lights as well, right? Wait, did we buy? Yeah, we need lights on this one as well. Keep people here for la longer till later. Uh, we probably need a restroom on this side somewhere. Maybe some signs and stuff. But like, if I if I go too hard, I'm buying all this stuff now. I will run out of money. I will absolutely run out of money. And benches and oh god, it's too much. It's, it's too much. It's too much. Hmm. This looks okay. Yeah. I mean, this might be a, like this might be a decent start. The poem bench costs the same. But it takes more space. Hmm. So I think it's not worth it. It looks nice. But that might not be worth it, you know. Okay. Spend some money, please, guys. Spend some money. I need to buy a new shop. Grassland enclosure. Okay, here comes a new bus. Why doesn't it reach all the enclosures? But it does. I guess he, he's, he sort of locked that idea in before. Yeah, he must have. He must have. Okay, there we go. We got some money again. Dude, woof. I might have I might have started too big. That pen has no water supply? Seems fine to me. These guys. They're so judgy over stuff they clearly don't understand, you know. Oh, the grassland pen looks really nice. Very nice. Anyway, I'd like to build this, but uh, it's going to cost me 350. And, and I, need to, I need to watch out that I don't go into debt. Okay, so let's look what else there is. Subways, nature, yeah, signs, decorations. The jungle arch is really nice. The archway seems to have been done better this time around. Oh! 300! <laughs> I didn't look at the price. Oof! That was close. That was really close. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Yeah. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad. This is nice. I, I'm, I'm a sort of, I've got, I've, I've, I've caught up. I think I know what's going on now. Uh, now there are two dudes on the map. I want to check what what they have for requirements. Can I look? Brontotherium. Like they're gonna want one of the ones that I probably don't have, like the grassland one. So let's just get a little bit more. Oh, we got some more money. Okay, there we go. Let's just get a bit more money and then let's put a shop down. We'll put down the tropical juice shop. And I think that. We will also maybe put down some more of these because look, there's a queue forming at that one. So uh, if we can just get a bit more, uh, like uh, just a little bit more of, of of a spread, you know, that would be good. 
Uh, you know how it is in this game. It's like you need these things everywhere. Like absolutely everywhere. So I'll put that there. And then I'll maybe throw some down on this side too. You don't need to be too specific. I think you sort of just want to cover most of, of, your, of your real estate with these things. Can't afford. Oh no. Fast forward. Profit today minus 2,000. Oh indeed. Transport planner. Hi. Now that you've opened a new dinosaur park, I was thinking we could set up more bus routes. So it'll be easier for people to get here. All I need is for you to show that the park is popular enough. And we can have a deal. You do so by increasing your park popularity score. And attracting more visitors. It's a win-win deal. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. I know. Like, from the start now, I can try and work on these. Uh, it's difficult. But I can try from the start. You know? This, this stuff, it takes long to build up over time. I can also, from the start, if I'd like, uh, try and manage these a little bit more. But the problem, I think, is that with most of this stuff, you can't be too... <laughs> Cute dinosaur cookies. I like it a lot. You can't be too humane with it from the get-go because that costs too much. You know? It costs a lot. So, so as cool as it is to be like, you know, on, on, on point with that and like, you know, environmentally friendly and all that stuff, you might not be able to afford it early on. So we'll see. We'll see. So what is this going to cost if I want to clone another animal? 180. I don't think I need more animals yet. We're going to, we're going to take it slow with that. I mean, I don't, I don't think I needed three f tiles here and I didn't really need to use the space so badly because i've used the space really badly i i basically planned out for a future that i don't even have yet <laughs> so so this may have been a bad idea uh, but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes look at the size of that dino's teeth yeah there you go childlike wonder is it too much to ask for oh 100 visitors are you gonna give me money Hi, now that you open the dinosaur park. Okay, yeah. This is the guy who's giving me a bus route. Unlock a new bus route. Let's see if I can do that already. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what do the buses cost? 2,000. Yeah. We'll get another bus. We need 2,000, though. But we'll get another bus. Just buy my stuff, guys. Buy my stuff. Please. Oh, we got research. Let's check it out. Alright. So. What makes sense? Stores. There's one over here. Probably go for that next. Signboards. Floor packs. Incinerator. This thing as well. Whatever that is. Water sprinkler. Let's get the water sprinkler. Ah. Volcanic enclosure. See? Okay, we'll get that next, then we'll go that way. Sure. Yeah, yeah, The sprinklers are nice. How much does that cost? 50 bucks for a sprinkler? Jesus. Better be gold-plated, dude. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I spared no expense. I never thought I'd be able to see a living dinosaur. That's what I want to see, dude. Yes. Yes. Okay, speed it up. We need more money. Now, I, I think my ticket price is, is fine. I can't change that too much. Ooh. <laughs> I better start saving for the salaries because I'm going to go into debt. Uh, we have one, two, one. Yeah, okay. This is enough people for now. And, and I have two animal... Uh, workers so I can actually assign one to each pin and I think that I'm going to from the start here uh, This is like one thing I did not do in the previous one, right? Is I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna go like boom, and I'm gonna say zone here. Ooh, they've improved the UI Very nice Then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go on you and I'm gonna go zone here. Oh That is so satisfying. It's so much better. There we go 
Now each of them can just cover one. I mean, sure, it sucks a little if the one gets a better animal keeper than the other one, but uh, it's still good. It's still good. It works. 51 people could not fit on your buses. Four felt the ticket price was too expensive. This is good information. So we need more buses. I'll save. I think I think buying the, the extra land early on was bad. It was a mistake. And I wish I could check what that dinosaur needed for a space. Because I could I could make it now. Like here, I can make it right here. Also, I'm thinking... You know what? I'm thinking I want to bring this this way. Or, or bring this this way. I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly. But like... I think I think that what I did in the previous maybe what I did in the previous one wasn't so nice but it actually looked kind of cool having like the green go one way the brown go the other way uh, that kind of stuff was was cool so Mesozoic healing a gift from the universe I've devised a new therapy where people must touch a living dinosaur this helps us connect to our past and helps us understand what it means to be human it cleanses the soul and balances our energies, becoming one with the cosmos. Will you let me run my practice in your zoo? Yes. But someone's gonna get bitten. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We get popularity. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's a, it's a short-term, you know, thing. But what does it cost again? Let's have a look. Transport. Is it two thousand? Two k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We close. We close. So if these guys spend a bit of money at my shops. We'll get what we need. Yeah, so again, lesson learned. Maybe don't go so big so quick. Spend spend a bit more time utilizing the space that you have. Because I've got a lot of wasted space right now. Uh, you know, I could also double down on the shops a little bit. And like get a, get a couple more. And maybe, just maybe, uh, boost my income a little bit. Like that. That might help, right? We got the one gift stand. I don't see any cues at the moment. I think we're fine. I could put one more cola vendor down here. Like that could work. That could work. Like cola vendor over here. I, I should probably look what these guys have to th say about the park. Powder my nose. Walk in, tiring me out. Yeah, I see benches probably. What do they cost? 20 bucks. Bench there, bench there. Put a bench here. Yeah, I just don't think it's ideal the way the way I've got my park set up right now. Uh, I I'm wasting a lot of space, but I will fill it up quite soon. It's just I need to obviously get a little bit more to be able to do that. They are ancestors of modern birds. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's how it works basically, right? So let me see. Left or right? I think we must go left with, with this type of pen. Which means that the second I open this one up, then I'll move that that way. But obviously, in the meantime, we need to make some space here for the volcanic enclosure or the grassland enclosure. Right? Dino soda. I should probably get that. Lots of drinks, but nutrition hut. Man, that didn't do much for me last time. Okay, we have 1,900. I think getting another bus would probably be massive for us. I don't want to throw these guys together. So if I... Oh, I didn't do the food gu food on these guys. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. So let's let's fix the food, the diet on these dudes. It's like 30, 30, 30 again. It costs, but like... No more food. I know, I know. Are you serious? Did you just cancel that? Yeah, it's exactly the same as before. Oh, I just spent a thousand on food. But it's going to last for seven days, so maybe that's okay. Now I need to save money. Now, like, now I need a lot of money because I, I, I don't have enough to pay my staff. <laughs> oh, no. What a horrible start. Oh, man. Again, it's just a wasted space. 
I, it'll it'll pay off. It'll pay off, guys. I'm playing the long game here. Okay. Volcanic looks so cool. But like, I'd like to make. I'll make this one here for now. Small, small. It doesn't matter. And then uh, we'll we'll go. Like the grassland will stick with the glass, right? I think. Uh, and then these guys probably also want ideally the. Is that a baby? They also want glass, yeah. Oh no. Fantastic. Time to do some more digging. Oh no. Oh no. Select an enclosure. Oh no. It's not the habitat they want. I don't think they're going to be a threat to the other dinos, but the problem will be that the habitat's not ideal for them. Uh, so, so what they probably want is we have to check. Is there is there a way to check? Hold on, if I pause here. Oh, do I have to wait for them to arrive? I know there's a list somewhere of all your dinos. I just don't know where you can see it, like... What is the button? I'm, I'm pretty certain there was a list. I wonder what it could be. So T is this. There we go. That's the dinos. That's the pen summary. That's actually the one I was looking for, but it, and I have to obviously wait for them to arrive before I can check. So... It's, it's, there's a good chance that they either want grassland or volcanic. So what I can do is I can make a small one of, of each. Or I'll just wait for them to arrive and then pause the game. That's actually the easiest, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, good. No loans. Whew. That's our week done. End of week summary. I'd say that was a success, but obviously we have a little bit of a touch and go situation here with the, well, the new dinos that are arriving and, and we need to figure that out soon, like really soon. Also, it said we had 1,600 cash. We don't. We just paid our staff. Now we only have 200. It's tough, but I mean, obviously we're going to have new people arriving now and then it'll be better.